What's up, folks? So we're out here. We're getting ready to build the bed cage for Monty. Got our pipe. Got to clean out some junk that's in the back here. So I'm gonna get the stuff cleaned out and get the bed bolts out. I'm probably gonna build it off the bed bolts. I'm trying to decide. Well, I'm probably gonna build it off the bed bolts. I may just tap in and go and weld it right to the frame because these bed bolts are a little bit different than I thought they were. So still trying to decide. I uh, just got them lubed up. They don't want to come loose. So if I can't get them loose, I'll just go right to the frame because they probably have never been loosened since 1995 and it shows because they're real tight and I've got a lot of WD-40 on there over the past few days and they ain't coming loose. So I'm gonna get the bed cleaned out, get all arranged, see if I can get these bed bolts out and get measured and get uh, started on this bed cage. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with welding this bed cage to the frame because I can't get the bolts come loose. I used uh, the Milwaukee half inch impact, the one on the air compressor, they ain't budging. They're just gonna snap if they ever do come loose. So we're just gonna go to the frame. Um, got two holes drilled in the bed so far. Might just go a little bit bigger, that one over there. Got the tires on both sides so we know our ride height is. But we're getting the holes in so I know how high up the bypasses will come. So I know where to like bring the arch of the bed cage back so it's gonna come from the the back come up and then arc down just in front bolt here so it'll come out right down here and then arc up it'll be like the main hoop there that's how it'll go and then we'll just kind of square off the back and then put some bracing in the middle and stuff but uh yeah just kind of cutting these holes getting them ready so i can see where the bypass are gonna go Big Betty's gonna fit. I think she's gonna do it like that. So that's about how high I want. So I figured right about the bed light. So it's gonna come right off the top of the bed and then shoot down. Maybe kind of angle right down to the frame right here. And we're gonna do about a 15 degree angle. Yeah. So yeah, those holes are gonna work. Um, like I was just showing, they're gonna be right about the height of the bed, about how tall the bypass is. They're gonna stick out pretty good. It's gonna look mean. Old Monty's gonna look good with the back. His back is gonna be nice. Um, so I'm gonna get the bottom mount tacked on to, they're gonna mount right on top of the leaf spring perch or where the U-bolts go. I don't know. That's where the top or the bottom of the bypass are gonna mount. So I'm gonna tack those in place and uh get ready to make my first soup we got a bender right here pretty fancy bender borrowed from my buddy and then we're gonna get this thing built okay so i'm glad i realized something so i had the truck sitting all the way down sitting at right height like sweet this is where the bypass is gonna sit they're gonna be up by the edge of the bed if i were to do that that means i would have to put a limit strap at right height so it couldn't the the rear um leaf spring couldn't drop any lower than this and this is how far it can drop like a long way so luckily i was like wait this doesn't seem right so i figured out so the bypasses aren't going to go all the way to the top they're going to be about just above the factory wheel well and then we'll strap it at about ooh, look at that about an inch shorter than this that way when it's all the way drooped or it won't go all the way drooped that way it doesn't bottom up the shot because if it goes all the way to bottom It'll probably eventually, it will, not probably, it will eventually break. It'll just pop the bottom right out of it, destroy our bypass. And they're really expensive. So we're going to limit it just uh, about an inch before it goes all the way to the bottom, maybe an inch and a half, because those straps will stretch a little bit. Um, but I'm glad I figured that out. So the bed, bed cage will come from the back, like I was talking about, come right over the top, right down the same spot, just won't be sitting as high. So yeah, Whew, it's hot. But got all of our heads, heads, holes drilled. This is, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go to the frame. So up there and here is where the bed cage will loop up, come to the frame. This is where the bypass will, of course, stick up through. We got a holes. So I'm gonna fire up this bender and uh, see if I can't mess up any pipe. Okay, so we got Brian up there in the bed. We got some cool plates welded to the top of the leaf spring, I don't know, U-bolt perch. And then we're getting ready to tack the actual uh, tabs 
for the bypass. So Brian's just holding that, and uh, we'll show you in a minute when we get them all tacked on what it looks like. And then we're gonna start building pipe. It's gonna be sweet. Well, let's just uh, take a minute to admire just the bypass sticking to the bed. How cool they look. Do they look cool, Brian? Or do they look cool? They look sweet. They look awesome. Coolest thing I've ever seen. So we've got, got some pipes cut for the back right there. To get get started on the back, and we're gonna bring our cool hoops forward. And build a sweet bed case. And it's gonna be awesome. Cheers. Oh boy. So, it's really basic. But you know, it's an accomplishment. Um, got the bars going down, tied to the frame. That top bar isn't tacked yet, it's just kind of sitting in place. It's not perfect even yet. I'm just getting ready to make my first bend for the first hoop that comes forward from the bar down to the frame right here. So, uh, probably gonna watch a quick YouTube video on, because I got an explanation on how to work this thing, but I've never used one like this. So, I'm probably gonna watch a quick YouTube video on how to use this thing. Because it's simple, but intimidating, because I don't want to mess it up. Because piping's really expensive. So I'm going to watch a quick YouTube video. I'm going to make a bend. All right. Well, I got the first one bent up. Looks pretty good. Um, took a little, I mean, it wasn't hard. Now, I first went to like a 50 degree bend. Like I need a little bit, a little bit more so I can keep, my, keep it flat and bring it down. And it's still, like if you look at it, it doesn't come perfectly flat over the top. It's just like on a straight angle down. That's no big deal. I could probably put more bend in that and bring it up. And I might go like 65 degrees. But then I, I probably will make it short everywhere else and I don't want to do that. So I'll probably just, just deal with it. And it's not, it's not bad. It's just a little bit of a downgrade. It's, it's no big deal. But I just got to build another one just like that. And it'll be... Uh, the main part of it will be done. All will be left is just the outsides and the tabs for the bypasses. So, come along then. Looking sick. Let's uh, bend some more pipe. Let's do it. Pretty nifty. Well, I got a couple pipes. We'll uh, we'll match them up and we'll have our, our main hoops. Hey, buzzing right along. I got both the main main hoops, I guess what we're calling them, that come back. And then I've got uh, this bar that's gonna go down the bottom. So uh, yeah, we're going pretty good. And uh, this guy made a little mistake on that one, but crisis averted. We're good to go. So we're just gonna keep banging this out. It's, it's turning out nice. The main part of the, the bed cage is made. All I have left is just to bring the ones come off the ends and tie them just at the bend and the bypass will mount right in the middle. So it's coming along really nice. 
Probably gonna take a little break because it's really freaking hot today. Get some, uh, get some lunch and uh, knock this out a little later tonight when it cools down. But things are going good. Now I'm pumped on this. Yeah. Let's watch this sweet baby. All you gotta do is push a button. And it just goes for it. Tells me my angle right here. Going to 73 degrees. I made this stick out too far. Tells me right there as well. See that? It's amazing. And just go back. And this one little bazinga. Check her out. Finished product. Only made kind of one mistake. If we get up here and show you. Let me get up here. So you see these ones, these tabs, sit kind of level. These ones are kind of pointed down a little bit. Kind of bugs me, but uh, one mistake shouldn't really affect the, the suspension really at all. If anything, it just kind of compresses the left side bypass an inch or it's about a half inch off <sighs> I might cut it and fix it but for now I'm tired and sick of working on it so I'm just gonna get it done just scuffed everything up gonna put a layer of paint on it and then mount the bypasses so stand by and we're gonna see this thing finished <laughs> all right I don't know if y'all can tell but it's uh, got a gray gray color on it now got a little overspread on the bed but we're gonna paint the bed like put like a rhino lining on it or something but uh yeah it looks pretty good. Oh well, I'm kind of proud of myself. You know, my first full on bed cage. And it's simple, but it, it looks good and I'm pretty pumped on it. So just waiting for the paint to dry and then we'll mount the bypasses and then I, well, I gotta mount the limit straps too. And then we're done. Limit straps and bypasses and we're done with this thing. She. Wow. Monty's been on all fours before, you've seen it. But he's officially on all fours and done. That's right. I guess not done. We have the drive line to get made to bolt up to the nine inch. And then it's done and drivable. We still got seats and a cage and a bunch of other things to do, mm -hmm. but done to the point to where we're driving it and able to have some good time in Old Monty. It's been awesome. It's about time. Yeah. Pretty pumped on the on the bed cage me and Brandon built. Turned out all right. Just a little mistake, but but she'll 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 do. It's okay. Shoo! I mean the first time making a bed cage, if that's our only mistake out of the whole thing. Not too bad. I think I'll take it. But man, doesn't want to look good. The front end's a little raised. We got the little Carolina squat going on. So we might have to lower it a bit, but we do need to move it and get the front suspension to settle because I adjusted it and then just set it down. I haven't moved it so it hasn't adjusted or settled. So we'll we'll do that. We got a drive line made and then we're gonna go take this thing for our first drive. Hopefully within a week, we can get it made and make another video about Monty. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the, the Monty, another Monty update, I guess you can call it. But the bed cage is done. We're sitting on all fours. We're ready to rally. 
Hopefully next time you see it, it's uh, moving. Shoo! Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. See ya. See ya. Woo!